Hi everyone. Well, I did say I'll come back and show you how to do the springtime bouquet. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing. Now, you're going to need a selection of flowers. I'm going to do a lav lavender one. Um, I've got some of these stems. Oops. Some of these. Um, some little rosebuds with beaded bits on them. Some tiny wee flowers with stamen, uh, ribbon, another flower and then that ribbon which I've done which I'm going to put on the project as well using wire and we'll see how we get on with that. Now you're also going to need, oops, um, let's see, I might put some mixed flowers in, going to have some more buds and stems because it is a springtime one so we'll just get some of these out. The lavender roses. Um, let's have a look, see what else we've got. I've got some more of these. Love these roses, the rose buds. Let's have a look. There's some small ones as well. You do need a good mixture of flowers if you're doing a springtime one. And I've got some tiny wee rose buds there. Um, there's another one. A little bit of lace, so I'm just going to cut a piece off and get the scissors. Oops, it is it. I get me other scissors. There we go. About that much will do. About three inches. Probably won't use that. Some feathers. Uh, put them there. And some garden tape. Um, let's have a look, see what else. Got some more of the tiny ones. Okay, lily flowers if I want to put them in. I have some of these springtime ones, not sure if I'll use them. Uh, and a couple more of these tiny roses. Oops, get these out. Like that. And then, what we do, I always think that if you start with the tall stems first. So, these are the two tallest I've got at the moment. And, um, between that, I am going to put the roses. So, I'm going to, hopefully, you can see in the camera what we're going to be doing. So, we can get the light right. So, I'm going to have a rose in the middle like that and I'm going to use that rose so we're doing these not quite the same height keep them slightly um, lower than each other and I'm going to do that and wrap that around the stem like that okay so we've done that one take the next rose and lower it just below okay and you're going to need another one on the other side, just below that. And just use one of them to wrap quite tightly. You can wrap them both, doesn't matter. Like that. Okay. So you've got them like that. The next thing I'm going to put on is uh, one of these. And I'm going to put that in the middle like that. Take it and then wrap that round. Wrap it back up onto itself and that will help keep that. Don't worry about them, you can sort them all out later. Um, I'm also going to put one of these on the side like that. So it's above the lowest flower, the lowest rose. And just wrap that around. I'm going to take another one for the other side, like that, and wrap that one. You're basically layering. Okay, don't worry about it, that's there. Then what I'm going to do is put some colour into them. I'm going to have a rose just there, and we'll match it up with a rose on that side, 
about that. See how it's laid. Steps. And to that, I'm going to add a pink one. Just in the front there, like that. And just use one of... Oh, you can use them all, it doesn't matter. Just, <clears throat> I'm just going to twist that. And wrap that around. And then take it back up the stem, just for safety. Okay. And then put some more colour in it. Have some red. Or a pink it is. I'm going to put that there. We've got another one. There's a pink one. Don't have to be the same. I'm going to put that in the front. Like that. I'm going to take a white rose and pop it there. So I've come down again. Another white rose on that side. And then what I'm going to do is take a piece of wire and just wrap that round and do it tight as you can keep twisting and feel that tighten up and wrap that around like that okay and then I'm going to do some lavender roses just in the front there let's have a look what else can we use? Oh, now, just just bear with me a minute, I forgot something. I'm also going to put one of these in. Now, I don't want them all. Just one will do. And I'm going to use that one. Right in the front. Oh, let's split that one. Wait a minute. I'm going to use that and take the larger one off. That's just going to sit there like that. And now what I'm going to do is just use that to twist around that stem. Take some garden wire. <coughs> okay. And then what you need is start at the top. Wrap that round as tightly as you can. And just keep wrapping. Use your pliers to snip off the excess ones that you don't want. Take it to the end and turn it back up. Like that. And then what you do is you start to organise it. So obviously bring your rows back round, let's move all these out of the way just for a minute just so you get yourself organised sorry just pull them out of the way push your roses down Like that, and then you can start threading all your little bits back up. And you get that. I mean, I'm just roughly showing you this. Pull your rose out. That's really nice spray, that one. And then what you do is attach at the back. I'm just going to glue that bit down actually. Some glue on the back. And attach your feathers. Like that. Okay. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty. And then what I'm going to do is take the lace and start. I'll start at the front. Now, although it's gathered, I still want the gather. So pinch it when you put it on. 
just pinch it like that and then as you work round you just do the same and then just pinch that and wrap it over if necessary it gives you that little bit of a frill just pinch it and pull it back Yeah, I'm going to fasten that in like that and you get that little just pull your feathers out there doesn't matter and you get in that little frill now to that I'm just going to add the bow don't worry about the flowers we can sort all that out in a minute if there's any we need to pull out just bend them slightly we don't have them rigid Um, and then to that I'm just going to add one of these little bows and somebody asked me where I got them from I can't, I'm going to have to look back on my eBay and I will put it in the, uh, the description when I find it um, I can't remember it didn't have it on the address and there you go it's as quick as simple and as easy as that um, that one is slightly bigger than this one and uh, I used it, I mean it just depends what you want to do with them I can now fill it out a little bit in fact I think I will I'm going to pop one of these in and for that I can I can just glue it in you can fill them out or snip off whenever you want I'm just going to pop that one inside there. I've glued it. That's just filled that little space. Yeah. Like that. And I'm going to put some more uh, of the tiny roses in. Just to fill them out. That's the best thing about doing these. You can add and you can take away wherever you want. Oh, that looks gorgeous like that. Let's pop that one in there. Oops, a bit too long. Never mind, snip it off. Not a problem. Not touch my finger then, silly old. Pop that in there. Um, just gonna pop another orange one, I think. Just in, in there. I'm not keen on that. I'm going to try and snip that off actually. That's it. Just take that off. Wasn't keen on that. And I do need um, another flower, which I'm going to use one of these to snip in and put in there <coughs> to fill that out. Put that in, just in there, like that, and there you go. And you've got a nice bouquet, or bouquet, however you want to... Uh, I'm just going to do one more, I think. There's just something missing. You know, you're not quite sure. And um, I'm just going to take this from the back. Just pull the feathers down. 
like that and pop some glue on there and I'm going to pop that in there it needed a bit more height that's better it just needed a little bit more height for me and there you go you've got another gorgeous bouquet of course that is like I said slightly bigger um, than that one the ribbons are different and everything but I like them both and I can use either one anywhere so I hope that's helped and uh, thanks for watching oh by the way I did film these but they didn't uh, the camera didn't I don't know what happened the film didn't work but uh, I have made the calla flower or calla lily whatever you call it um, the little daisy and lots of these wee flowers from the paste um, different sizes like I say the lily flower and the daisy um, I will come back and show you that but not tonight I'm tired and I'm going to bed thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon bye bye for now